Let's quickly look at how we can formulate a questionnaire like this when conducting qualitative research. Actually, in qualitative research, we do not refer to the set of questions we intend to ask our participants as questionnaire. When conducting qualitative research, the questions we come up with to ask our participants can be referred to as interview guide or an interview protocol. This is because most of the time in qualitative research, we need to conduct semi-structured interviews. Semi-structured interviews differ from structured interviews in that semi-structured interviews allow participants to express themselves clearly with fewer limitations. In contrast, if we are conducting a quantitative study, we need to use questionnaires. Questionnaires have structured questions where the participant is not allowed to express themselves freely but is normally given a limited number of choices to choose from such as yes or no answers. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can come up with an effective interview guide or protocol that we can use to conduct semi-structured interviews for qualitative research. The first thing that we should consider when designing an interview guide or an interview protocol, or what some would call a questionnaire in a qualitative research, is the research questions or objectives. This means that the research questions and the research objectives will inform the questions that we are going to ask our interviewees. Let's have an example of a study evaluating the importance of parental engagement in a large English primary school. For this study, the objectives are to determine what parental engagement means to teachers, to highlight the most effective forms of parental engagement, to determine whether teachers prioritize parental engagement, to evaluate the benefits of strong parental engagement in schools, to evaluate the challenges associated with strong parental engagement in schools and to determine the main barriers of increased parental engagement in schools and to highlight examples of training and guidance teachers have received in relation to parental engagement. Now, with these study objectives, and remember our study is about evaluating the importance of parental engagement in a large English primary school, how would we develop an interview guide protocol or what some people call a questionnaire, which should not be the case. As I have said earlier, we should call it an interview guide or a protocol. So the first thing that I'm going to do for this video is I'm going to use the voice typing tool in Google Docs so that I can come up with an interview guide. Let's have our interview guide protocol. Okay. I'm going to be voice typing, so let me go to tools, voice typing, interview guide or protocol. Let's center align this and I can go to tools, probably I can capitalize that, no problem. Now, the first thing that I'm going to do is to ask the participants questions related to their demographic information. So, demographic information. This will be the first section of my interview guide protocol or some interview guide protocol or what some people call a questionnaire. Remember, our study is about evaluating the importance of parental engagement in a large English primary school. If you look at the objectives, we are to determine what parental engagement means to teachers is the first objective. That means we are interviewing teachers. So how many years have you been teaching in your current school? You see, that's one of the questions. For instance, we would ask them to know their experience teaching in their current school. Which subjects do you teach in your current school? This would be the second question we would ask the teachers to get some background information. Okay. What's your total number of years as a teacher? that would be related to the overall experience as teachers. So those are just some few questions I can ask the teachers to get demographic information. This is how we set the questions or the interview guide when conducting a qualitative study. And I can have as many questions related to the demographics as I want because these questions will be related to the demographic information I would want 
to use in my study based on my research objectives. Having considered this now, we can have the main questions. These are the main questions in our interview guide protocol or questionnaires. Now, these main questions will be based on the objectives of our study. Let's look at the objectives. To determine what parental engagement means to teachers, let's assume we are asking the teachers a question. How would the question be based on that objective? This question would be to, de to determine what parental engagement means to teachers. So I would ask the teachers, what does parental engagement mean to you? What does parental engagement mean to you is the first question we should ask our participants and then leave a space for them to answer. Let me interrupt this video for a minute and inform you of my services. My first type of service that I offer is consulting for anything related to qualitative data analysis using NVIVO. You hop on a video call with me through Microsoft Teams or Zoom and I will help you become a pro with NVIVO in a few hours. I also provide a done for you data analysis service. I do the manual coding and provide a data analysis report with the necessary visual. Some kind of visuals I do include tables, hierarchy charts, and the framework matrix. Email or message me right now, details in the description. Let's go to question number two. Again, we can ask many questions based on one objective. It's not that I'm doing one objective, one question, no, okay? We can also ask the teachers, if you look at the second objective, to highlight the most effective forms of parental engagement. Before we get there, we can ask the teachers, what are some examples of parental engagement that you have witnessed in your career as a teacher? This is another question we can ask them, okay? Remember, I'm basing most of these questions on my research objectives that's how we know how to develop questions for qualitative research okay again we can have question number three leave a space for them to answer question number three in your opinion what do you think are the most effective forms of parental engagement Again, that question is based on this objective to highlight the most effective forms of parental engagement. Let's look at another objective and set questions or have questions for it to determine whether the teachers prioritize parental engagement. As a teacher, are you normally concerned about improving parental engagement? Then for this question, we can have a follow-up question. In this sense, do you think that parental engagement is a priority for you that's another question let's have question number five based on the objectives to evaluate the benefits of strong parental engagement in school in your opinion what do you think are the benefits of improved parental engagement in primary schools you can see what I'm doing. I'm setting the questions based on my objectives. I'm asking follow-up questions. I'm leaving spaces because this is where I'm going to put the answers that I received from my participants. Let's set another to evaluate the challenges associated with strong parental engagement in schools. What do you think are the challenges that inhibit strong parental engagement in primary schools? You can see what I'm trying to do. In my questions, I'm trying to be more explicit or open or use simple language in a way that my interviewees will understand what I'm trying to find out and they will provide accurate responses. Let's have another question, question number seven. To evaluate the challenges associated, are there any forms of challenges that are associated with strong parental engagement in primary schools? So that's another question I have set. Now let's look at another objective. Training and guidance. To highlight examples of training and guidance teachers have received in relation to parental engagement. As a teacher, have you ever received any form of training and guidance on how to effectively engage parents? You see? 
this is an example of questions we might ask okay this is an example of an interview guide protocol or what some people call questionnaire that we can use in a qualitative study i'm going to share this protocol in my attached files that you can find the link in the video so you can go and look at this and try to imitate what i'm doing I will also share the objectives which I used in the development of this kind of a protocol. So I will share both the protocol and the objectives so that you can see how we normally come up with a questionnaire, the interview guide or the protocol in qualitative research. Thank you. Remember, I provide done for you data analysis services and consulting services for any problem or challenge related to NVivo. So check the link and email in the description and talk to me right away. Thank you.